Good afternoon, everyone, and uh, sorry to keep you waiting. Uh, we'll ask the following the uh, hot stone service that we held inside. Uh, we're out here uh, in our lot, <laughs> our Obong festival lot, uh, for the Mantua service. And uh, so it'll be a simple service, but uh, we'll have chanting, and then uh, Reverend Hata will give the uh, Nama lesson.
Well, good morning once again, and thank you for joining our slightly delayed Montreal service. Well, as you know, uh, due to the pandemic, uh, we're not able to have the Bono Dori dancing uh, that traditionally follows the service. But I think it's significant that this service, generally speaking, or in, in traditionally, this service is held before the dancing. And actually, I think that the fact that the dancing follows the mantoe is actually significant. And this, this is because the mantoe service comes first because in the service we can directly encounter a central teaching of Buddhism. And this key teaching is, of course, the impermanence of all life. And so in this regard, I, I wanted to thank you, uh, all of you who participated here in the candle offering and incense offering uh, in memory of your loved ones, because um, your participation not only honors your loved ones, but by coming today, I think that your physical presence here underscores for all of us that losing someone we love is a very human experience. And, you know, as you can see, you know, all of the white lanterns hanging here above us has the name of someone's deceased loved one inscribed on its unique tag. Uh, our temple members and friends uh, fill out an application to have one of these lanterns created in order to acknowledge the loss of their loved one. And so for many of us today, these lanterns represent uh, a real person. And of course, in the passing of that person, they also represent a loss, I think that for most of you is still deeply felt. Now, losing someone that we love is, you know, not surprisingly, what we call a difficulty in Buddhism. And I think here with the really the literally the hundreds of lanterns reminding us, we come face to face with this truth of impermanence we encounter the reality of the transient nature of life. However, at the same time, the Buddhist teachings, I think, also provide us with a kind of support. Uh, and in this sense, the support not only comes from the teachings themselves, from the Dharma, it comes from all of us present here today. Why? Because we all understand this kind of loss and sharing one's loss with each other helps I think in the grieving process. I think we could say that we receive each other's support because all of us have experienced the same loss. We realize the experience of loss is universal. But in addition this Montoy service and the Montoy lanterns above us also give us the opportunity to deepen our awareness of the contributions our loved ones have made to our lives. This is because in acknowledging our loved ones passing, in acknowledging the reality of impermanence, we are naturally led to a deeper appreciation of their contributions to our lives. And so in sincerely acknowledging their contribution to our lives, we say in Buddhism that we are able to gain insight into something that is at the very, very heart of the Buddha's teaching. And this heart of the Buddha's teaching is the interconnectedness of our lives with our loved one's lives and actually with all life. Gaining insight into the interconnectedness of life helps us better understand the passing of our loved ones. Why? Because in the teaching of Buddhism, each death of a living thing is also an opportunity to appreciate a deeper truth. This deeper truth is that all living things are not living separate, unique lives. All life is not only impermanent, all life is interconnected. In other words, we are all one in this universal flow of impermanence. And finally, receiving this insight, realizing the truth of the Buddha's teachings, can naturally lead us to a deeper sense of appreciation, if not outright joy, for the gift of life we receive from our loved ones. This is 
why the Montoy service is held right before the joyful and uplifting Ono Doni dancing. Of course, uh, as I mentioned earlier, unfortunately, Due to the current safety restrictions, we cannot hold our Bonadori dancing today. But it's my sincere hope that on this occasion of our 2021 Montoya service and in honor of all our loved ones, both living and deceased, that we may, we may all continue to listen to the Buddhist teachings and live the most fulfilling and joyful lives. So once again, thank you very much for coming and thank you for uh, participating in our 2021 Montoya service. Namo Mitos. Namo. Okay, thank you, uh, Reverend Hata, for a very meaningful message. Uh, with this, uh, we'll conclude our Montoya service for this year, and hopefully next year. Uh, you know, we'll have an in-person in Obon festival and we'll be able to do the Montoya service uh, during, as uh, Reverend Peter mentioned, uh, before our Bonodori begins. So uh, again, thank you for joining us today and, uh, you know, really have a, rest, a really nice rest of the day and rest of summer as well. Okay, thank you.